Hey, what's up guys? The Bookster again. You guys getting hyped for this fight? I certainly am. We are here in uh, Finland, I presume. We are doing a fight between Russian and Swedish troops, and I am quite excited for this one. The Swedes will be attacking a forest outpost here that the Russians have set up. And they have palisades, they have artillery, and they're here to defend it. It's sort of like a small fort near the uh, the coast here to the Baltic Sea. So we could be somewhere near Narva, to be precise. And we are, uh, well, we're I'd say we're in the year of 1708, 1709, when the Russians and Swedes fought a lot. I mean, Sweden and Russia fought pretty much <laughs> during the entire 1700s. And it was a very bloody conflict. The Russians won a lot of battles, and the Swedes won about as many, I'd say. I mean, it was a fair fight. Not really a fair fight, Russia's obviously a lot bigger, but Sweden during the time was most, quite possibly, in early 1700s, Europe's strongest uh, force. It was the it was the, the force to be reckoned with in Europe. That changed over the time as Sweden got into a lot of wars and lost a lot of battles, and obviously the empire shrunk, but Sweden was the biggest in Europe by far in the early 1700s, especially if you look at the height of the Swedish Empire. Uh, it's something we here in Sweden call Stormaktstiden, which is when we were the, the, the empire, essentially. And it was really cool, and we, uh, you know, you can read upon a lot of the battles. Um, some of the more noticeable battles between Russia and Sweden would be the battles of Narva, Poltava. Um, one of the battles of Narva was a an absolute crushing victory for Sweden. Uh, the battle that followed was a, a, a obviously a defeat because uh, I mean the garrison there was extremely tiny and Russia just overwhelmed it entirely. Uh, battle of Poltava, which followed up in 1709, many years later, was a Russian victory. Uh, many many years passed, and then again, Russian Sweden sat it towards the Napoleonic Wars. Uh, there's the Battle of Svensk Sund, which was a devastating defeat for uh, Russia where they lost almost the majority of their navy and the Sweden, I think they took 30 or 40 or so battle banners from various regiments. Go read upon that on uh, Wikipedia and if you want to see a funny uh, site, look for Battle of Narva. You're the man now dog, which is y -M, no, ytmd.com. It's like a you know a gif or something with the, with the song in the background. I might link that to someone in the comment section if you ask for it. It's pretty fun. But that's not what we're here to do now. We're not here to talk history. Uh, but although we are here to witness a somewhat of a semi-historical battle, um, who knows what could have took place during the war. Please, drummers, top. Thank you. Top, 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 stop. Yes, yes, quite unexpected. It wasn't, he didn't know he was going to be told to stop. Um, here we are with the Swedish army. These guys are, these guys are, um, I mean, Keep it quiet. Shut up. They're so stunned about this whole mod here that they, they don't even know what to say. Gonna turn off the uh, the silhouettes there. Now, uh, this isn't the Swedish in-game, but they have the matching colors, yellow and, and blue, so why the hell not? We've got two line infantry sections here, and we've got grenadiers on the other side here. And look at the officers here in the center. Stunning colors. Absolutely wonderful. They will make perfect Swedes. And then, of course, we have the Russians here. Jaegers up at the front. Line infantry. Howitzers. A flag, an officer, and the the rest of the garrison inside the fort. So I'm pretty excited for this. As soon as I click start, all hell is going to break loose. And we really do not need to do much commanding at all. We just need to watch, sit back, and enjoy. If you guys want to talk about history, we'll talk about some of the Russo-Swedish wars, as they were called, uh, do so in the comment section. I'm, I'd, l I'd love to discuss that. I'm not really... I'm not really super good with, with Swedish history. Uh, I think I'd like to study more of Swedish military history, especially during the 1700s and 1800s, uh, when Sweden was actually, you know, in the game, so to speak. Then we kind of withered away uh, after. Um, but um, not withered away. I mean, we have been in conflicts, but not really, you know, if you didn't take part, part in World War One or World War Two, you weren't really accounted to be, uh, you know, to witness a lot of military history during uh, the 1900s, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, or the Cold War for that matter, let's click start, let's watch this battle take place and make all hell break loose. Now, this scenario has, I've tried it like one or two, twice, um, once or twice, one or twice, <laughs> and it is a stunning display of fight, fighting, or I don't even know what I'm talking about, but the key point here that I wanted to mention is that it always has a different result. Sometimes the Russians win, sometimes the Swedes win. So I have no idea who's going to win this fight, but we're going to click start and let all hell break loose. So, yes. There we go. And the fight is on. You can watch it in a cinematic mode like this. 
guns are so loud. I'm gonna make sure some of the Swedes occupy that gun again. Good hit there from the Swedish artillery. The Russian howitzer is back on working at it. Oh, it's gruesome. And the Russians have a lot of troops up here in the the houses that it will be firing from the window. It's pretty cool. You're going to see a lot of smoke whips coming out here. Stunning stuff. Now the mortar further back inside the fort here is starting to work down on some of the Swedish infantry. And a lot of the Swedish infantry is now moving up. And it's just a stunning display of smoke. And muscle flashes. Gunpowder action. I love it. The Russian front line is starting to slowly fall now. Oh, his grenadiers are moving up close. Look at that officer. Oh, he just took a hit to the to the shoulder, but he's still standing. Boom. There's some more Russian troops hiding behind the palisades here. I'm going to command them for a second. Man the hell it's there. Come on. Duty. Ah. They definitely have to be making use here of the artillery that they have to try and hold the front line. Boom. I love it. Stunning stuff. Grenadiers are moving up on the right flank. I'm going to take the initiative and have them kind of rush up, perform their role. Come the Grenadiers. Oh, one of the officers are moving up. Howitzers are landing nearby. A little howitzer. Balls or pouts or shots, rather said, mortars are dropping down too. And even though you, even though you know, even though mortar is the thing that fires it, not the actual projectile that lands. Obviously, the same thing goes for a howitzer. That's a howitzer. The thing it shoots is not a howitzer. But you can still say, like you know, mortars are landing down close, just like that one. And here goes the officer that got closest to the wall. He's now dead. Uh, like you know, mortars or I don't know. whatever. I think I think it's a pretty common thing to say that, like, if you've got, if you're being shot at by um, artillery. I mean, in general, you're saying artillery's landing on the ground. In a way, I'm not sure. Don't get caught up on me, okay? <laughs> so the infantry is getting closer to the wall now. The Russians are still holding firmly here. The houses are proving to be some good cover here for the Russians. They're using it as their currently newly shaped front line here against the Swedes. We don't want to let the Swedes get too close to the fort. The howitzers are still working down the Swedish army. I'm going to bring up some of the assets back here and have them go into the fort. Framot Grenadier! Ir om det svenska stålet! Trying to sound like some of the Empire Total War voices, they're so fun. Whoa! Man just got shot out of the window. Crazy stuff right here. As the Swedes are starting to make uh, their way into the fort. Ooh, mortar rounds are landing here and there. Ah. Oh. This is a gruesome fight. We're going to enter back into the regular game hut here so we can see the players that we have. Got a couple of Swedes here on the side. Look at these men, like sharpshooters, huh? How cool is this, huh? Look at these guys. They're fighting their own little fight here on the side. Love it. Skirmishers, huh? Flytta fram kanonen! 
That's basically saying move up the gun. But I'm going to be doing a lot of scenarios here between Russia and Sweden again in the future because, truth be told, it is it is so cool. And there was so much fighting that this is going to be the absolute perfect uh, you know, scene and use of, uh, of, of units in this game. We can create like hundreds of different battles. We could do a battle of Narva, we could do a battle of Poltava, we can do a battle of Svensk Sund with, with the ships and all that stuff. So many things we can do and I'm super excited. So finally Sweden gets a little place here in my channel. We're moving up the gun here. This is pretty freaking cool if you ask me, huh? Oh, shooting right into the fort. We're gonna target it. The well back there. Oh, nice. Infantry in Tostel Nigana. Just gonna be shouting random Swedish words. <laughs> oh, God. Gonna go back into the cinematic mode and we're gonna enjoy the rest of this battle now. And let the, let the fight pretty much carry itself out. Look, we've got a Russian position back here, a captain. Adlishna, a flag carry. I think he just took, took a shot. He's bleeding there onto the ground. But he's standing firmly here as the Russian, the Russian pride carrying the battle flag. And the mortar is still going at it. Let's try and get a little closer here to the Russians. See if we can overwhelm them here at the last second. Lots of Russian troops here by the side. They're moving out here to support the fight. And there will be more fire here on the courtyard. Not much of a courtyard, but the center of the little fort. Some fierce fighting here between infantry. And some artillery in the mix too. The mortars here are really putting themselves to work. Want to make sure that we send all the assets into the fort now. If we are to take this fort, we must do it. Otherwise, this will be a failed attempt at breaking the Russian forest outpost here in the somewhere near Narva. I think we're losing a lot of morale here. We don't have any officers as far as I can spot or see. Yeah, we're gonna pull back. Retreat! Blows to retreat. He faller tillbaka! Yeah, the Swedes are pulling back. It was a failed attack, but quite a devastating victory here for the Russians. As they barely hold on to the center here, as the remaining Swedish troops are forced to pull back due to the lacking here of strength currently. I hope you enjoyed this battle, and as always, they always turn out differently. This time again, it was a Russian victory. But I've I played this scenario before and the Swedes just took the fortress entirely. It depends on how well the mortars perform and how everything really works out. And as you can tell, the red is represented Russian casualties and the yellow now Swedish casualties. And as you can tell, a lot of guys were lost here in the center. Absolutely devastating fight. With, uh, quite a few Russian troops remaining here, searching the area now, making sure the Swedes have pulled out. I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Some remaining Swedish troops out here in the forest are going to be engaging with whatever Russian tries to head out. I think they'll be doing quite a dumb thing to move out of the safety of the fort and the range of the artillery. There's not going to be much left of the Russians then. But they're uh, they're hungry for it. They're hungry for it. They're really going to put us on the run. What they're going to do is they're... This battle isn't quite over yet, huh? So we're going to quickly speed up just a bit. They're going to actually man the artillery again. And they're going to start firing at us. They're going to take our gun. We're gonna turn that around. Look at this, guys. Huh? Boom! Yeah, that is a clear signal from the Russians to the Swedes that second attack is a no-go. 
we will stop you at the gates and the sweets pull back. Hope you guys enjoyed this fight, and I will see you guys soon again with another video, perhaps another Sweden versus Russia, perhaps a more American, uh, American Civil War, that too, uh, American uh, uh, Revolutionary War, rather said, and we've got plenty of other things to do as well. It can include France, Britain, you name it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon again. Ciao!